Hello and welcome to the Flexline Media coverage of the 2022 New Zealand Disc Golf National Championships. Sponsored by Pack and Save Kilburnie, coverage brought to you by Eastern Suburbs Sports Trust. My name is Chris Hootman and I'm joined by the human highlighter and tournament director himself, Brady Cush. How are you going, Brady? Uh, doing great, Chris. Thanks for having me. Uh, looking forward to actually get to watch coverage, you know, like I was busy being a TD the whole week. Uh, so really looking forward to this feature round coverage. Here we have our feature card. First off the block, Andy Davey, defending champion from 2021. He posted a really strong score, so we look forward to his um, playing this weekend. Con McKinstry, coming from the Taranaki district. Yeah. Um, he came fourth last year. Jay Wilkinson, crusher from Christchurch. First time here at uh, Berenpore, so it's going to be exciting to watch him. And Willie Taratna, also from Christchurch, played really well last year as well. Yeah. I'm um, really excited to see them play starting here on hole one, par three, 77 meters. Uh, the course was looking absolutely amazing. This hole here plays yeah, uh, left to the right hole. So it's typically you'll see four hands off the tee or the occasional backhand roller, uh, backhand turnover rather. But if you turn it over too much, it can become a roller. For the 2022 New Zealand Disc Golf National Championships presented by Pack and Save Kilburnie. First on the tee, Andy Davey. Yeah, as you'll see, this this tournament here was held in, uh, you know, the COVID pandemic here in New Zealand. So you'll see a few masks out around on the course and a few uh, distanced players from each other. Andy throwing a Kiwi over Stable Fairway from RPM Discs. Smooth out the hand. Very nice. Yeah, great start. He's found himself in that little ditch that runs behind the basket. Uh, the champ, as they call him, uh, Dismania 1 and 4. So he was selected to make it to the second round here from the Dismania sponsorship. Uh, he won North Island Champs two years ago up at Inglewood, his first tournament he ever played in. First tournament he ever played. Yep. Uh, rumor out. has it he won his entry fee to the tournament on a bet with T-Bone, another Taranaki player. Going with the turnover, nice and high. Might go long if it, yeah, just finished a bit too much at the end and finds himself right in that Agapanthus rough. Yeah, I got caught up in the headwind a little bit there. It'll be interesting to see how he plays that one. Jay Watkinson from Christchurch. What a guy. Yeah, supposedly said he was injured coming into this event, so you know, he'd injured his shoulder coming in, so this will be one of the few forehands I think he's going to be playing on the weekend. See him there, just stretching it up, ready to throw. Nerves maybe on the first tee. Yeah, if you didn't see the skins match, thanks to Bros for Change, go over and have a look at that. Really exciting footage, and uh, you get to get a taste of what Jay can do. And already we can see a great throw. He'll be in perfect position for birdie. Uh, good to have Dispros up. Um, Willie T is just a, a class act. Uh, it was great to have him up from Christchurch and on the feature card here. He's got a Cortade in his hands. Kind of a Firebird clone, would you say, from RPM Discs? Uh, a little bit faster, bit more faster. of like a, uh, like a PD or a PD2. This looks great out of the hand, nice and low, keeping it out of the wind. Probably a bit straighter than he would expect, not as much finish on it. Yep, and no skip on that, so yeah, mm. you can see him kind of down circle's edge. Let's see if he convert the birdie. Bang. Oh, great putt to start it off. <laughs> the confidence that would give you. Oh, yeah. That's how you want to start your round. Good shooting, Willie. Tricky stance for Connor in the rough. I'm losing his shirt in that background. Color blindness does not help in the Agapanthas. Bang. Oh, fantastic putt. Wow, getting a good taste of what this uh, feature card can give us. Uh-oh, is this going to be our first star frame on hole one? Easy for Andy. Three for three. Come on, Jay, don't let us down. I've heard that Jay is a serious practice putter at home. Does 200 putts a day, so this should be nothing for him. Yeah, I was going to say, this is probably his warm-up distance, like his first <laughs> yeah, exactly. like three to four putts of his practice. 
Going through his routine, though, which is good to see. Yeah, this wind will keep players honest all around. Ooh, tried to bounce out. Whew. But falls in, and that is a star frame to start us off. Wow. Yep, all green for our feature card. Great to see. Hole two, par three, 110 meters. Changed from the course last year. Um, it's a dogleg right, kind of similar to hole one, but going downhill and playing into a protected green. There is rough all around it. You do not want to be early and right because it's, it's horrible in there. Yeah, yeah, this is kind of the first tester to keep players honest. So they had the easy hyzer on the first, and then this forehand, yeah, you got to start playing with the elevation. It's a great shot from Andy. Probably yeah. circle's edge. Yeah, just outside maybe. Kind of lining up another backhand. Uh, CD3, so it looks like a longer fairway from Kana. Ooh, bit of a cut roll, but he's in the open. He'll have a clear line. Yeah, it won't be a favorable win for his putt, though, uh, right to left. Here's Jay. Let's see if he can throw that Halo Destroyer well again. Nice and flat, letting the disc do all the work. Probably a bit wider than he wanted, but yeah. Good skip, Still caught good the skip. fairway. Mm. And Willie also throwing the Kotari. Nice and flat. Mm. Really wide, Whoa. though. That's all right. Keeping it away from the rough. Yeah, it should be a safe, you know, like he can give it a cheeky run if he wants to. Um, but yeah, he's going to kind of be putting almost into a straight headwind, I think, coming off that road just in front. Yeah, it did kind of funnel through that section. As we've already seen from hole one, all these players are quite strong putters. Oh. <laughs> yeah, like I said, Ooh. that headwind, keeping him just high. Right on line, though. Yeah. That's nice. Oh, it should be good. Yeah, I'm going to guess everyone's going to go through their routines, take their time. Oh, my goodness. Just that headwind, as you were saying. Just Yeah, just holding it up. up. This mm. is going to be a good round of putting, I feel like. Beauty. Yeah, Andy's putting with those hard stratatouis. Um, he should be pretty much online. He's used to this win being the local winning last year. Uh, he should be showing most of these boys uh, the lines on a lot of the holes. Did you know what Jay was putting with on the weekend? He was putting with Lunas. A Luna, okay. Yeah. yeah. He does have that kind of Paul Macbeth fan grip going. Yeah, totally. And putting from the hip as well. Cash. You can tell who he modeled his putts on. Hey. Can't complain. Why, why, wouldn't, is, why <laughs> wouldn't you? I think if I could putt like anyone, it would probably be Paul Macbeth because he gets them in from everywhere. Yeah, yeah. You can definitely see why Paul started his disc line with the Luna putter. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, a couple birdies out of the first two, you know, like a couple pars out of the second two. Um, not a bad way to start the round for this feature card. Right. Takes us on to hole three. Uh, par four, 190 meters. Um, there's quite a bit of elevation gain, so you can see players off the tee want to basically throw as far as they can to make it around the corner. And then, yeah, they probably have roughly another 100 meters throwing up the hill towards this little flat bush to the green. However, all along the left-hand side is quite gnarly rough. You do not want to be in the Black Baron Gorse on the left side around the corner. What I will say is this hillside off the tee is a lot friendlier than it was last year. Yeah, uh, definitely. I think feature card last year was Troy Robinson losing his cloud breaker into that rough. And that is an absolute crush from Andy. It's like completely around the corner. He'll have maybe 80 meters, 70 meters to the basket. That was huge. Yeah, great Kahu shot from him. Mm, that looks Ooh. a little low. Getting some airplay. He's around the corner. That's that's perfectly fine. That's really good, actually. <laughs> yeah, that's money. But you can see Andy's got yes. him by a good like 15 meters around the corner. Let's see if Kana can match the distance. Throwing Dismania Enigma. Yeah, this looks flippy. a bit straighter. Yeah. Had the favorable wind with the tailwind, but just didn't get the uh, the finish around the corner. But hey, he's in the open. If you pass that corner, you're good. Yeah, should be all right. Willie, where'd he go? There it is. He's out <laughs> wide with Kana. But quite long. Yeah, he should at least be like pin high, as it were, like up the hill. Mm. So he should, as compared to Kana here, he's still a little bit down. So he's probably got about like two to three meters still to throw up the hill. Oh, 
holding it wide up the stretch. It's yep. not, not a bad result. Nah, it should be an easy up and down for par for Kana. Like, no harm, no foul on that. Oh. Yeah, like a bit of a grip look out of Willie. Yeah, not quite used to playing on these hills, trying to throw it a little bit too hard, so yeah, it hangs it out too far right. So he'll probably have an up and down just like Kana. It's a good miss on this hole, though. You don't want to, you don't want to be left. No. Jay's in good attack position, though, and that looks money. Sit. Oh, lovely. Oh, yes. Nice shot, Jay. It makes it easy when you're getting that close to the basket. Don't have to worry about putting. Not at all. Something similar from Andy. Oh, a lot lower. Skip. Need some ground movement. That's enough. Yep. Yeah, that's fine. Good who you play. Another fairway out of Andy. So, yeah, that was nice and close for him. Here's Willie with another outside the circle look. Got a nice step pot on him. Yeah, super smooth operator, yeah. Willie. Let's see if Connor can bag a long one. Oh. Nah, yep, yeah, didn't yeah. read the hills right. A little bit low. Come on, Andy. Three for three. Let's go. He's got that little, like, nervous back foot. <laughs> <laughs> Just, like, tap to the ground before tap, he butts. Tap, tap, yeah. tap, tap. Well, yeah, I think last time I saw him on coverage, uh, Coach Carson Boone, another Wellington player, was was on his bag with him. Um, so, yeah, to see him without, you know, like might give him that little tap mm. in the foot. Good to see some etiquette going around. Jay having the close one, letting Kana tap in for par. This is the birdie look that I like to see. <laughs> Uh, and big shout out to RPM. I was, I was super happy to have their support for the event. So we have heavy duty Helix baskets um, for all 18 holes, which is really good. Um, so nice, consistent catcher for the weekend. Hole four, par three, 84 meters playing downhill onto this mound. Um, anything short will make it really tricky and anything long, it'll be a death putt. So this is a really technical hole despite being wide open. Um, you're probably gonna see wide um, spike hyzers or keep something keeping it very low and direct out of the wind yeah interesting to see so it's a kiwi out of andy going forehand yeah the forehand surprises me especially maybe you wanted a bit more wind play but that's really far down yeah probably an early release out of andy um this is kind of what i expected it should be a southerly so it's going to be a right to left wind so here's jay throwing a drone overstable mid from mm. discraft and that's okay he's played Le it into the hill yeah leaves it short he'll have that tom strawbridge putt up the hill yeah Kind of throwing a razor claw too. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. Yep. Nice uh, and high. That'll be, be good. A scary putt. <laughs> scary death putt yeah. with a headwind. This is a Kotuku from Willie. Nice uh, snap on the throw. Probably long. Settle. Yeah. Ooh. Way up there. Yeah, I'm going to get. Uh, will he run it? Uh, looking yeah. at his shirt blowing in the wind, I would say it's a no. But, I mean, who knows? And I feel like we should also shout out Andy and Jay with a turkey start. That's oh, a, true. That's pretty great. Oh. Oh, just a floaty upshot, maybe half run. Yeah. You can tell he's used to putting in mm. the wind, so he had perfect touch on it, just mm. didn't hold quite as he wanted it to. Let's see if Andy will get this one high enough. Uphill with a tailwind. Nope. Nah, but it'll be an easy par. That'll kind of break his birdie start. Just got to keep him close. That's the thing. If you miss it, keep it near the pin. Yeah. Yeah. Look at Connor's shirt just ripping in this wind. Yeah. Bang. That was awesome. Yeah. A nice birdie there. Good confidence. That's going to be a great builder here on hole three for the rest of the round. So, Jay, he was the closest. Oh. oh. Yeah. Looks... You know, Jay's not used to them hills. I'll say it once, I'll say it again. You know, like, this elevation is really what makes this course difficult. So, yeah, you really got to be mindful with the wind and all the elevation changes. So, yeah, two pars from our birdie boys. It'll keep them at three down for the round. Kind of picked up the birdie to drop him to two down. Uh, and Willie will stay at one under par here going into hole four. Five. Five. We're up to hole five. Here it is. Going up the hill. 
par 4, 122 meters. Uh, just basically keep it in the fairway, get up as high as you can and make your approach as easy as possible because there is OB just beyond the basket going on a golf green and there's the rough that you can see on the left hand side there of the basket. So quite a tricky hole, but what I will say is that it actually played the easiest across the entire weekend. Yeah, I was a little disappointed to see that. Um, uh oh. You probably wanted to see more of this. Yeah, I was expecting a little more of that, but not out of the feature card. Connick throws it way wide to the right. He's going to have a tricky upshot from there. And he might also have some torn up legs in the gorse. Ooh. And he this throws a flip over. Much better from Andy. I think that's a pecker pecker. Yeah, that based on that bat that's stamp. So cool. Yeah, should have an easy up and down with a putter. Probably a Ruru, maybe even a Kia for him. Here's Jay. That's the one. Nice and high and wide. Going to come right back down to the center of the fairway. Perfect Lovely. tee shot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it seems like wind's starting to pick up as we get to the highest point on Ooh, the eastern side back. of the course. And it does. Okay, that was fine. Yeah, now it's going to be Willie or Kana. We'll see. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Not fun. Uh, looks like a tomahawk out of Kana here. He's got like that niggly branch just behind his backswing as well, so that's actually an incredible Sit. result. Oh, oh my, my goodness. Gosh. What a shot. Great recovery, Ooh. Kana. Oh, should have been a replay on that. That was great. <laughs> Where's the catch cam action, Chris? I didn't expect it would get that far up, to be honest. <laughs> great up shot from Willie. Mwah, just that little chef kiss on the basket. Nice shot, Willie. Let's see if Jay can match two Christchurch boys. Oh, that is long. Oh, no. Oh, go, go, go. <gasps> Safe. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, Jay lucked out there. And he didn't know. Oh, obviously, really? Well, obviously, because he's down the bottom. He had no idea until he got up there. And uh -oh. That is... Oh, dear. Oh, no, oh. Andy. Talk about day law. Well, you know, I guess it's... Did Andy get barren poured? Is that what we're going to call it? <laughs> oh, no. Now he's completely blind being behind the rough. If mm -hmm. he catches anything going across, it's going to be a terrible putt. He needs to sit now. That's great. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Great shot, Andy. So I guess we saw three examples of really good upshots, which would tell you that the hole's playing you know, fairly easy, but then we also saw one example of a difficult putt. Oh, difficult upshot, I should say. But, I mean, we have to assume Andy's going to get his, his par. So, yeah. still playing under par for the cut. There it is. Yeah, there's the par. Nice work, boys. This feature card's playing really well. A lot of gray, a lot of green. Really nice to see. Jay thanking his lucky stars that he was in bounds. Just in bounds. Or should I say lucky Luna birdie for Jay. <laughs> And this will be a tap in for Willie as we look over the beautiful view that we get from this uh, eastern side of the course. Yeah, I remember when you got this shot last year, I couldn't even believe of like how beautiful it is to see the city because normally you're playing up at the basket. Uh, here we are at the top of the course, hole six, par three, 100 meters. As you can see, there's out of bounds golf green on the right. Uh, so it should be a pretty stock standard like 100 meter hyzer. Unfortunately, today with the Southerly, all of the players here are going to be playing directly into a headwind. <laughs> As you can see, using Connor is a bit of a wind read. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's gone high right, which is what you need. Will it come back? Yeah, circle's edge long. Yeah, that should be just fine. I'll have a tailwind putt, which should be just fine for him, I'd suspect. Here's Jay. Uh-oh, Jay looks a little inside. That was a Halo T-Bird 3. Oh, Getting a nice an trickle. Another great roll. Brings him down inside the circle. Well, he's taking a low line. He's throwing a PD3. Just catching that little hill just in front of the green. Yeah, I don't think short's the miss on it because he circles edge into a headwind uphill, so going to be tough. Nice and high from Andy. Actually, quite high. That's it's going to be up on the hillside. Whoa, smoked. He threw a Kotuku, so that's like the overstable mid from RPM. Like, that's a crush into a headwind. Ooh. And smartly laying up. Really yep. smart play, Andy. 
Uh, we saw it a bit last year when he took down the win. He's playing a lot smarter, not like kind of running a lot, mm-hmm. making silly mistakes. Yeah. Circles edge putt for Jay. Oh. Low. That's all right. Kept it under the basket. Yeah. You don't want to get a bounce and roll into that. No. Uh, that OB. Air balls and roll down yeah. past Willie would have been terrible. Willie, buddy. <laughs> A little, a little errant on his. You can see that little frustration with the mini behind the back. Ooh. Speaking of over the top. Yeah. Didn't catch any metal. Connor should be up again. Yeah, it'll be a little test there, but he should cash it in. Um, he's kind of used to these windy, windy. It's an open golf course that he plays up in Taranaki regularly. Nice cleanup. And it should be three more from our feature card. Yep, again, you can see, so we're on the, the highest point on the eastern eight, so this is the temporary side of the course, so we're looking back over Barrenpour and up at the hills of uh, Brooklyn and Kingston, um, so these are kind of the Wellington Hills and what funnel all the wind over the golf course. <laughs> Hole 7, par 3, 93 meters. Another one on this eastern side that's been shifted slightly from last year. It's been pushed back and onto the edge of this hill, which will increase the danger of players attacking the green. A lot of chance for rollaways, um, but I, I like the change. I really like the change. Yeah, Jay aced this hole last year. Jay Puke Puke from Bros for Change. Uh, he was a little disappointed that it wasn't as easy an ace, um, but we'll see how this feature card does. Connor's hanging it way out wide, right? Oh goodness gracious! Oh, wow! Perfect. Yep, falls on its head and it's not moving, which is what you want. Yeah, that was Stiff. a P- PD two out of Connor. Stiff headwind on this tee as well. Going to a T-bird three, so it's a fairway shot going straight at the pin from Jay. And just a touch short. That's probably going to be a layup, you would you would expect. Yeah, probably. Here's it, a Qatari, nice and overstable. Just cresting that hill on the right side. Interesting that not many players were going with the forehand, but I guess you don't want to risk it going wide. With the fade, oh. Yeah, because you can get those. You get those little bit of rollaways mm. on this hill, and that's why this hole is playing a little bit harder than last year. What are you averaging at for the uh, MPO? It's actually only 0.04 over par. So it's pretty much bang on par. Yeah, which is good to see. I kind of like having pars that are, you know, a challenging hole to make, you know. It's not like birdies are out of the question. Um, but, yeah, you definitely got to kind of be like Connor, Andy, sit, sit. I'm guessing it probably played around par is just because players weren't running the bird for the birdie. If they were circles edge, they were probably just laying up and just completely avoiding any doubt of a roll away. Yep, I was gonna say, case in yeah. point, there's there's Jay laying up right to the wood. About the only place you could run it from is here. Like being mm. down the hill, running up the hill would ju- be just fine because if you miss, you're still gonna be there by the basket for three. Although if you hit metal, you might you might go for a roll. Yeah, but Willie's all right. That'll be an easy tap-in par for him. Here's Andy. So Connor, actually, as much as he looked wide off the tee, is the closest to the basket. Andy can definitely run this. And he does, and he gets a bird. Money. Nice, Andy. Good putt. Yeah, Andy's looking calm and comfortable. That's good to see. Last chance for birdie. Here we go, Connor. Don't do it. Oh, no. Don't do it. He hit so many chains. All the chains, all the basket. Is it? Did it, <laughs> oh it didn't my. stop. It's just got... That is horrible. Uh, I've just heard it sounds like Khan is going to abandon that, which means he'll just repot from where he is. Which is a great call. Oh, totally. Like, that's one of those rules that I think a lot of people forget. And you'll probably see a lot of players going down there and just pitching up and hoping to get close to the basket. But if you can repart from there, why yeah. wouldn't you? Totally frustrated. Yeah. And I can like be in that park and have that nasty roll away. It was like a splash out. Yeah. It, like, yeah, it, was, it was in the basket. Mm-hmm. High catch. Falls in the basket. <laughs> Willie's like, I want nothing to do with those <laughs> <Yeah>. nubs. Only <laughs> chains, please. Yeah. I want to hit as many chains as I can. 
Yep, Jay with a tap in. Willie doing the South Island statue in the background. Uh, takes us on to hole eight, uh, par three, 77 meters, the last of the Eastern eight in the temporary holes. Uh, should just be a pretty straight forward hyzer shot, uh, forehand or backhand, doesn't matter. Uh, it all just, can you read the wind? Can you read the hills? That's what this hole is really about. Yeah, and don't go long. Andy throwing Kahu. Oh, uh, no. I got a Kiwi on Kiwi, mine. Kiwi, okay. <laughs> Which makes a bit more sense. Yeah, a bit of a firebird out of RPM yeah. there. He here's comes up J just short. Here's Jay with a drone going back to that overstable mid. Hangs it out to the right. Go, baby. This looks beautiful. Yes. Great skip up to the basket. Yep, little flash of pink. He should be parked. Oh, speaking of flash of pink, your flamingo replay with the follow flight. Uh, keeping it nice and low, keeping the wind out of the equation, parking the basket. Absolutely Beautiful. great shot, Jay. Willie with the Kotaku. Keeping it far right, Keep letting coming. the disc do the work. It's probably going to be 8-10 eight, eight, meters eight out. 8 meters, yeah, yeah just in inside region. circle. Yeah, you can see him just down there on the edge of the hill. And here's Kana, Razor Claw 2, nice overstable putt and approach to park bouncing up yeah similar spot to to jay i would expect oh i was wondering if we we're gonna get the double follow uh -huh. play <laughs> oh well next time here's andy for birdie cashes it takes him five down on the front nine very impressive yeah he's here in the hunt this is how he wants to start the round do you want to come out clean or under par on this eastern side here's willie to take him to three down if he can make it Yes. Money. Yeah, these guys are a little bit closer than I thought of from the tee. It's a bit deceptive, obviously, with the catch cam behind the hill. You're not exactly sure exactly how far they get up, but uh, our feature card, great drives. Super and parked for Connor. I think this is going to be another star frame for our feature card. Dun, 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 dun. Man, I'm, I guess I'll st have to start donating money to charity <laughs> next time if they're just going to do this every time. And uh, hole eight was playing as the second easiest of the uh, of the round. Um, hole five was the easiest overall. Yep. But now we go to the third hardest on the day, hole nine, par four, 176 meters. Everyone thinks you gotta go big off the tee. Really, it's just a placement shot to the top of this first hill so that you can throw a touchy approach shot across the second valley to park the basket for birdie. Yeah, speed control and placement, very important on that second throw because you don't want to be funneled down into that gully. No, not at all. Here's Andy looking like it's trailing left. He should be just on the tree line, so that should be okay. Yeah, he should be okay, depending on what that wind is doing. Jay's throwing a Halo Race. So it's meant to be a bit more understable, right? A race? Yeah, a little bit more understable than a Halo Destroyer. Yeah. Not understable enough, though. Catching those branches, falling flat. I think he'll be able to get a look over the hill. Yeah, so players are throwing directly into a headwind. It's a bit sheltered behind this first mm -hmm. hill, but as soon as it gets exposed, it's going to be nothing but trouble. As Willie here does the opposite, turns yeah. it over too much. Willie going destroyer on that one. Maybe needed to be the halo kind to keep it in the center. And a DD3 from Connor. Ooh. Flippy. Safe. Just behind the regular team. <laughs> so Almost taken out to spectators there. <laughs> Just calmly, oh, I guess I can get out of the way. Here's Willie on his upshot. Completely from here. blind. So tricky from here. Hopefully Catch Cam can follow this once it gets Throwing over the hill. Throwing a pecker. Yeah, so flippy fairway. Woo! And that is a bit high. Super nose up. Straight <laughs> wind. Oh. oh no. He's in the tree line. That's going to be a super tough third shot to try to save par. Here's Jay. This is a good shot, so he's a little bit short, but he can see the basket from where he is. So this is his destroyer now. It's on the forehand. And then he go he so he goes yeah, too stable, too yeah. stable. Yeah. So yeah, he's probably going to have to chip up and down for four. Here's Andy with probably the best drive of the bunch. Let's see if he can get the up and down. <laughs> that, that forehand technique, he just like opens up. And smash. Yeah. Oh, and that was a smash. That was great. Uh -oh. oh. Stay. Stay. Where are you going? Oh. Yeah, these hills have are... Have you ever seen them go down that end? Yeah, that side? I like, have. Oh. Um, I've almost myself rolled OB on the golf green down the down bottom. The back. Yeah, you can get some pretty gnarly rollaways, as Kana knows himself. This looks much better out of Kana, if that can just sit. Oh my gosh, that was incredible. 
I mean, he was basically playing from the regular tee, so I'm sure he's thrown that a bunch of times. Absolute money. I don't. Kana hasn't come down to play much, uh, so he did play Middle Earth last okay, year, yeah. but he's still pretty newbie to the course. Ooh, oh, sits. Willie. Yeah, sits for Willie. So this should be a par. That's amazing a, to walk away after yeah. those first two shots, barely 100%. making the hill. Here's Jay. It is technically his birdie look, though. I don't think he's going to have anything to do with it. Keeps it low. Needs to watch the skip. Oh, dear. Ooh. Didn't account for that. No. you got to keep it so flat. Well, and it might be like a plastic choice, so mm. I noticed that was a premium. Yeah, quite shiny. Yeah, so the idea of wanting something a little softer to grab the grass so it could sit, but let's see if his putting can handle outside the circle. Let's see if he can handle up a hill. I think that's... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he'll walk away with a bogey there. Here's Andy Just, playing yeah. smart. Go. Should be all right. Um, he'll have a bit of tailwind. Here's absolutely great par save out of, out of Willie T. Great result. Yeah, yeah, keeps him clean. So he'll finish this front nine at three under par, uh, which is a good way to start. Jay tapping in. He'll get the bogey yeah. and drop back to four under par for the front nine. Andy with the hot star tapping in par. So he's five down. So he's cruising here. Uh, his course record last year for Middle Earth was 12 under. It was like a 10-20 rated round. Uh, kind of finishes himself at four under par. Uh Great front nine, great feature card here. We had, what, two star frames in the front nine? Yeah, playing very well, which is always what you want to see from a feature card. I think we've picked uh, four really nice players to watch here. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Cannot wait for the back nine. Here we see the leaderboard through nine holes. Christchurch is coming strong with Jasper Vandermeer at five down. Joined, of course, with Andy Davey at five down. Jackson Sullivan, Jay Watkinson, Simon Feasy, and Connor McKinstry all on four under par, tied for third. And a whole lot of people tied at 7th at 3 under par. It's really tight. Yeah, it's going to be a battle all weekend. Um, absolutely cannot wait to watch the action. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you soon for the round one, back nine.